how salt and pepper have got a very important job to do at Gunnersbury Park. I'll tell you what it is. Now, for the first time in history, pigs are being allowed to graze on Gunnersbury Park in West London because it helps with the, let's call it the gardening of it. The Cooney Cooney pigs can effectively mow the park as well as break down brambles and weeds. They're like, you might think of them as perfect gardeners. And O'Neill went to see them. Every day for the past few weeks, these two pigs have been on a mission. Sisters Salt and Pepper trot out from the Cable Manor College campus based at Gunnersbury Park to earn their bacon. They're helping biodiversity in the park by eating their way through this area of scrub. They chew down and tackle all the brambles, the stinging nettles, the bindweed that overgrow an area and kind of suffocate an area and allows more of a diverse species of plants to grow through and using animals to do that is a more natural and more conscientious way of doing it. Traffic has to be stopped twice a day to let the pigs through. Today, the park manager is doubling up as their lollipop man. You never know when you introduce something into a space that people are very familiar with, uh, but the pigs have been overwhelmingly positive. Uh, I don't know if you saw the drivers that had to stop, who were usually beeping horns and all the rest of it. They're all smiles, you know. The, the pigs have brought a lot of joy to people, I think. The pigs are highly trained so they can be managed by the college students and staff and they can even sit on queue. Ta -ta, sit! Can't believe I'm feeding a pig treats. The team at Gunnersby Park wants to make it the greenest park in London. And the next stage will be to diversify the livestock that we have. So different kinds of rare breed pig, but also potentially sheep as well as even alpacas and llamas. <laughs> It's hoped the initiative will bring the past into the present and prove that livestock animals have a use even in the capital. <laughs> Anna O'Neill, BBC London. <laughs> Great story.